Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, we have a new episode, so we have a new custom courtier. We have Ronard Silverstone and his wife, Vori. Now, Ronard rescued Vori from uh, some slavers, and uh, they lived for a time, quite happily in the north. However, well, somebody insulted his wife as they found out she was a former slave, and he slew them, and therefore had to run away. He ran to the Iron Isles, and his seeking refuge in Saltliff, and that's where we meet him. Right, let's uh, carry on with this episode. So, I don't think we were doing... Oh, that's what we were doing last time, we are at a wedding. Okay, Lord Vicrin's wedding is over, it's time to begin the long way home. After the music, entertainment, and the warmth of the real world suddenly feels cold and hostile, will there be another wedding? Okay, so cool. We, we just came back from Lord Vicrin's wedding, and I think we're still trying to fabricate claims in his titles. Why do we have in control, like, in command? We're being sieged by uh, Aegon. That's not good. That could mean dragon fire and death. That's definitely not good. King Aegon of Westeros accepted King Cal, the ill ruler's peace offer. Uh, so the Veilman claim on Se uh, Saltpans War has ended. King Aegon of Westeros lost. Okay, so he's lost Salt uh, Pans. There we go. Interesting. Oh good, he left. I really didn't want to die there. That would have been quite bad. Oh, looks like Lannister army's being beaten up. He's still going to hiding, but I don't think that's a good idea. But, I mean, it's not a thing that we would do. Hiding seems like a lot of work. Uh, people being released. Um, like, it's basically just a load of people being ransomed from dungeons right now because a uh, war just ended. Oh. Okay, didn't crash. Good. That's where we're, what we're wanting to see. Yeah, it keeps saying we can go into hiding. I really don't want to. Oh, King Kyle of the Mountain Vale died after a period of illness. He has been succeeded by... Uh, let's have a quick look here. By King Edmore of the Mountain of Vale. So, Edmore was uh, from a different branch of the family. So, it went from Jonas to Ronald to... Oh, they were the same. Oh, they were married to each other? Interesting. Oh, I still have Charent for one for when I uh, added in characters. Interesting. Anyway, uh, it went from Hubert to Kyle, and now it's just jumping down to Edmure, who looks like he's the last Aaron alive. Is he? Yeah, he's the only Aaron alive. Oh, that is not a good place for you to be, Mr. Edmure. Not a good place at all. As your efforts of gaining wealth grow all the more determined, you sleep less and less, since sleeping is not a profitable behavior. I must have more gold. I have become stressed. Ooh, okay. That's not good. Stressed and sieged. That's definitely not uh, where I want to be. Sieged by a very large Aegon army. Prince Edmure of the Reach died in the dungeons of King Mace of the Reach. So a high garden has been now given to Garth of the Reach. Who does not like his liege at all. Yeah. Okay. We actually have a lot of gold. We could start spending that at some point, although we are greedy, so we probably wouldn't uh, start a uh, Died Stillborn. Okay. Lots of favours being called in. Interesting. My liege, blessings upon you and your house. I've discovered a plot where Lewis seeks to kill Lady Brella of Saltcliffe. My maester is the one who's been trying to kill me. Well. Definitely, given that we've decided we imprison people, he shall be imprisoned. Oh, we caught him. I think it's time. Well, we can send for another maester. That's not quite where I was going. I think it's time for a trial. Let's say, uh, can we just drown him or something? We take ty tyranny. So yeah, trial. Maester Lewis has demanded a trial before the court, which Justin shall oversee to ensure justice is served. He began to present his defence, but the court did not seem impressed. He cut a very unconvincing and nervous figure. Justin shall interrogate him now. Just stood before the court and aggressively questioned the accused. Many at court were convinced by his arguments, but then again, many seemed unimpressed. He made a reasonable case. A verdict has been reached. Justin proclaims Lewis the Maester is guilty. Well, what are we going to do with him? We've never actually won a trial, so, uh... I don't know. Um... Probably just put his head on a spike. I mean, sending him to the wall, presumably... In not that ne doesn't necessarily in gameplay terms cost us money, but I would assume it would cost us like money to send him off and uh, yeah, we'll just kill him. That's a nice cheap way of getting rid of him. Do we send for another maester? Um, 
Maesters cost us gold and don't seem to do anything for us. I don't think we sent for another maester. We're not religious. Yeah, we'll just not have a maester. That's fine, we already don't have a priest. So, that's fine. Louis, uh, Lannis Hasterton has called in a favour on Justin Benson. Okay, I don't like all these favours being called in. That's uh, definitely not a good thing. Okay. At least uh, we know who was trying to kill us and we got rid of them. Uh, people being released from Lord Archibald of Vaith's dungeon. Okay. King Torrin of the North died of pneumonia. He has been succeeded by Brandon the Twelfth. Okay. He was a holy warrior. Okay, cool. That's, uh... Yeah, definitely a scary person. Don't him, want him to attack us. Probably won't attack us, though. Lords of Pike, who approved the institution of the absolute rule law. What does that mean? Where are we going? Um, yes. Laws apply down. Okay, absolute rule. Is that one of these? Nope. It just does not appear to be absolute high uh, lordship, it says. Um... I don't know what absolute rule actually means. Is it like an Iron Owl thing? Nope. This seems like something we don't need to care about. Yup. Okay. If we can't see it, we don't need to care about it. It's my logic. Uh, we lost the Siege of Salt's End. Yep, they took uh, our castle from us. Lord Donald the Wicked has usurped the Lordship of Don Forest from Garrus Molten. Uh, Molen. Alright. There we go. Keep going. Uh, dear Lady Brella of Salt Love, I hereby invite you to the Grand Feast in Castle Rock. Your presence at the feast will be greatly appreciated. I look forward to your attendance, Lord Vicken. Um, yeah, I'll travel to the feast. Perfect. I could hear someone sneaking around inside, and I believe it to be a burglar. When I went downstairs, I discovered Septimus opening one of my letters. Septimus, of course, one of the children of uh, Titus, who is recently deceased. Well, I could teach him to be less nosy, or he could use and practice reading. Um, mm, I don't know. We're not gonna. Are we cruel? I, I don't think we're necessarily cruel. We'll just, uh, we'll just make fun of him for his reading. I guess. I mean, that's still a little bit cruel, but n neither of the options were not cruel. That's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, my leash, my work in Lordsport seems to have come to fruition by bribing, controlling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents. I've managed to fabricate a claim on the Lordship of Lordsport, presently held by Lord Vicrin of, of Vic, Vicon of Pike. I'll leave it up to you whether to press it or not. Yours humbly, Lannis Hasterton. Well, of course we're going to do it. Look, and he welcomes us to his feast. Wine was served, and the most delicious aromas came from the kitchen. Thank you for having us. Uh, how many men do we have? We currently have zero because our top holding is uh, held. Okay. That's uh, that's not good. Carlin of the of the Rylor Uprising has declared the Rylor a uh, revolt against King Brandon. It's not a big revolt. It's just a peasant's revolt, basically. Lord Vicrin's feast is over. It's time to begin the long way home. After the food, entertainment, and warmth, the real world suddenly feels cold and hostile. Will there be a feast next year? Um, okay. Right, probably not, because uh, we'll be holding it. If we can ever get our land back. I mean, he still has only 600 men. If we had our full levy, we could fight him, but we just can't right now. That's annoying. Uh, my liege, blessings upon you and your house. I've discovered a plot where Will Winch seeks to kill Lady Brella of Saltliff. Well, we already tried to imprison him once. Oh, he's not even in our court, Mr. Will Winch. Hmm. I don't know what we would do. I guess we'd just live with it. Hmm. Yeah, that, that doesn't sit well with me. Oh, we're also at war with uh, King Mason. The Reachman's War for Lord Runtford's claim on Red Bramble. Why did we not get a pop-up about that? Oh, because we don't have him in special interest. Interesting. Alright. Well, I suppose there's not even any point in raising any men here anyway, because Aegon would just come and kill them. Storm King Kristoff the Stormlands, the second Stormlander Reachman is your war on Firing Cross on King Mace of the Reach. Yeah, all of the lords are just fighting each other constantly for single uh, provinces. Aegon Targaryen is now known as the Mad. Oh, okay. 
Oh, wait, is this sun dead? No, I thought I saw a little skull next to a sun there. I was like, how did we not get a pop-up about that? Okay. Well, uh, let's keep going. Uh, under my guidance, my young courtier Tiberius is slowly mastering the arts of swordsmanship. Mm -hmm. I think, actually, we should probably send these four off to someone else, because these really shouldn't be our problem. Uh, right, there we go. There's one of them. So we'll just send them off to be educated by someone else. Um, I don't know. Probably one would be educated by someone who's good at um, fighting, would be my guess. So probably just like, how about Ronard? Give him something to do. There we go. He can do Titus and Tiberius. Here we go. Right, and then we got Septimus and Jimmy. Right, let's uh, get them educated by... Uh, Justin. Yeah, sure, Justin will do. Right. And that's them no longer our particular issue. Right. Of course, our son is still being educated by, um, yes, our brother-in-law, Master Hagen. You should do an alright job. Uh, Ethan of King's House Peasants Revolt says, Lord the Peasants Revolt for King House on King Brandon the Twelfth. Okay, there's a couple of Peasants Revolts on there. Agor is no longer a spy master. Agor Iron Reaver is dead. Okay. We need a new. We got a lot of things open. We have a commander slot, we have a sworn shield slot, and we have a spy master slot. Spy master should be somebody who likes us, ideally. Do we have anyone who likes us who's good at intrigue? No. Okay. They can't like us, they might as well be good at it. So if two people want to be spy master, Vori and Hara, uh, I guess Vori can do it. She seems to be much better than the rest of the people at actually being spy-like. Yeah. Okay. There you go. You can go scheme in our capital. We need a new... Uh, where is it? Bodyguard. Uh, probably it's going to be someone with High Marshal. I guess Ronard can do that. Right. And a new commander, which is going to be someone with uh, good commander traits. Uh, I really like this Siege trait, actually. Uh, but you are currently our Castilian. Knight trait's not very good. Yeah, okay. And this, uh, th he's like six marshals, so it should probably be Ronard again. There we go. As a set up. Right. Well, we'll uh, let the realm continue. Still waiting for this war of Aegon to end so we can actually uh, rise up our men to attack our liege. Oh, we should change where our, um, our person is. Our just car, because there's no point in them fabricating claims here. How about we improve relations... Probably with King Lauren. Yeah. That seems to be the most sensible option. Uh, my lady, it's come to my attention nobody has been designated regent for Salt's Lift should the realm need it. Needless to say this is a perilous position as surely squabble and rivalry will merge without clear leadership. I humbly petition you name me as designated regent to avoid this sort of trouble. Signed, Lord Manfred of House Ironfoot. Well, obviously, we'll just say yes. We're slothful. If someone else has come to us with a proposal, we'll just say... Yeah, sure, do it. You know, unless it's about money. Money is something that we will not uh, be flexible upon. Right. Egan, where are you going? Lord Arwen of Golden Grove has usurped the High Lords of Golden Grove. Egan is going to our liege's place, which is actually perfect if you could siege that down. Just uh, lower the um, amount of men he has. Why is Egan losing this war so badly? Um, I don't really know. He, used, he had like 50% war score at one point. Maybe he um, ransomed somebody. Nope, can't see it. It's not in one of our recent ones, but he might have ransomed someone, and then that lost him 50% war score. I don't know why he doesn't go to Castle Rock. This would win his war a lot quicker, but anyway. It's probably because he doesn't know how to use boats, because he's an AI. Right, right. Yeah, Westeros is just kind of being sieged in general. It's, uh, it's not a good day for the combined Westeros. 
Septim caused growth of the Faith of the Seven uprising to the Faith of the Seven revolt against King Aegon the Mad on King Aegon the Mad. Oh yeah, I forgot this Aegon was like my Aegon from the Aegon series where it's like, um, you know, just, he's still Valerian. So that's a little bit interesting. He should be Faith of the Seven, but uh, the events never went through, which is a little bit weird. Anyway. Just waiting for, like, the large amount of action to happen for us and our for our land to actually become unseaged. Right. I'm just going to kind of do a quick scan around the uh, Seven Kingdoms, just quickly. I'm not going to unpause, not going to pause it to look around, just like... Yeah, the um, borders seem to be really clear, actually, right now. Which is a bit weird, given all the wars we've had, but that's cool. Uh, another Peasants' Revolt. There are a lot of these. Yeah, everything seems pretty normal. Uh, my liege, I write to you with bad news from Salt Love. My efforts to squeeze some extra taxes out of the population have been met with resistance. The peasants are arming themselves. I fear we may have a revolt in our hands soon. Your humble steward, Justin Benson. That's not good. Uh, King Lauren of the Rock died of depression. We now have his son, King Lyman. Uh, all hail his grace, Lyman of House Lannister, King of Salt and Rock, Son of the Sea Wind, Lord Reaper of Castle Rock, and Protector of the Iron Isles. I guess I'll hail the king. Um, I'll hail his great grace Lyman of House Lannister, King of the Rock, the Westlands, Lord of Castle Rock, Shield of Land, Support and Protector of the Realm. Yeah, I'll hail the King of the Rock, I guess. Cool. I was just seeing what these were. Recent carousing. Yeah, lack of funds. Um, Lady Brella, my... Uh, my father, King Lauren Lannister, has died, and you are humbly invited to his funeral. Signed, King Lyman Lannister. Um, yeah, we'll go. That's fine. Arthur died a natural death. He, um... Alright. He's what he's a father who was uh, put just uh, at the game, just added in, because it feels people need to have family trees. Uh, Gwyneth has dragged her unfaithful spouse Pete before me and insists I should punish him. Uh, this is a waste of my time, or he will be locked in the stock. Um, you know what? This is a waste of my time, I think. Yeah. Waste of my time. Lord Harlan of the Iron Isles died comatose in bed, which now means we have Lord Harren II of the Iron Isles, who only has a tyrannical stain. He's only four, he's not tyrannical himself. Any more important decisions? Not really, not really. Athan has accepted King Brandon the 12th of the North's peace offer. Right. Uh, the funeral. As the Silent Sisters finish the preparations of the deceased, the body of King Lauren is brought to the local sept and laid atop the altar at its centre. At Canopotic... Canopic? Jars of ornate design are placed at the feet of the dead, and the eldest child places the death stones upon the closed eyes of the deceased. One by one, the closest to the departed in life make their way to the sept and speak their goodbyes, shed their mournful tears, and pray to the seven for the dead. As the day winds down and the last goodbye is said, the body is carried by the kin along the crowded, li uh, the crowd lined streets to its final resting place. As the sun fades away, a great feast is held, and those who knew the dead recount stories of his life deeds of the lost. And so it is done. Uh, King Lauren Lannister died of depression uh, at age 63. He was a man known to be most courageous. He was a competent swordsman, but not a warrior songs are written of. I mean, he did manage to take the Iron Isles. I mean, surely that's something for him. Uh, we can go into hiding because someone's trying to kill us? Oh yeah, because Will Winch is trying to kill us. We know that. It's just we're no longer in command of a uh, siege. Okay. I was wondering if there was a way we could see what leaders they had. Now, just as Lord Quinton. I guess that means they have no dragons here. Probably explains why this one's going pretty slowly. Do they have any other armies? Yes, they have no other armies. In fact, they might not have any dragons they can use because Aegon's wife is uh, both wives are dead, which means it's just uh, Vakar. In fact, where did it? Where are the dragons right now? I do this like every couple of episodes. But uh, dragon riders. We have one wild dragon of Moraxis. We have Vagar is currently being ridden by. Um. Of uh, Valina Valerian, yes, of course. Valerian is being ridden by Aegon. And Fafnar is being ridden by uh, Vakar. Oh, he's actually trained them there. Cool. So, Vafnar could still have a. Like, could still be leading armies. 
Garris of Deep Down Peasants Revolt, so it's Lord the Peasants Revolt on the north. Cool. Tristan Macy is now known as the Rude. Yeah, I'd be very rude if they just took Westeros from me to give it back to the person who I took it from. Anyway. I think that this is a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.